Aquarius, welcome back to Majestic Notion. Welcome to a beautiful perception. Welcome to your August love reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. So you may have Aquarius in those placements in your chart. Thank you guys for your beautiful comments, your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions. I do appreciate them, and I do look at the comments, so thank you so much. It's all about positive vibes here, right? Um, I do not do personal readings at this time and I've been saying that throughout all the readings because I've gotten several messages about that and you know I don't remember where the message messages are because there's so many videos so and the reason for that is because I have a lot of projects going on at this time and a lot of things taking up my time so I will never say never but at this time I don't do any okay um, I will be splitting the energies today so Aquarius you will be over here on this side the viewer and the person in question or the person you're wondering about will be on this side now I do have to go through this intro because I do get new subscribers for those of you who already know how I read you can go ahead through the reading it only takes about two or three minutes for the intro we're almost there alright um, I do go through a lot of decks so I will go through those as we go um, what else not all Aquarius will re resonate with this reading of course as not every Aquarius is going through the same scenario or situation so if it doesn't fit please do not make it fit this is for male female male male or female female relationships so at the end of the day tarot is about energy not gender so if you see a king or a queen empress or emperor you can resonate either way okay it's about the message so stick with me okay I do try to keep energies split between the viewer and the person in question but energies do jump and I have to decipher through those energies and hone in with my intuition so that I can give you the right uh, message okay so let's go ahead and jump in Aquarius let's see what's going on in your love life this month and remember that energy is fluid so things might not be happening this month it could it could resonate later on okay the year all right or months to come so let's get into it these are the romance angels and let's see what's going on with you guys and yes spirit team surrounds me at this time let's see Aquarius I've been getting music so we'll see if we get some music for you guys Let's see. Oh, music speaks volumes, trust me. Especially when it comes to the reading or your situation. That's why it's always important to listen to the song. Um, because you could definitely find some clues in there. Okay? So let's see what's going on with your person here. Alright, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So this person may be, you know, at wanting some advice as to what to say to you, how to go about this situation. Um, perhaps they're asking advice if they're in another connection or other situation. Maybe they want to see how they can get out of that. So this can go either way. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Children, your love life is being affected by children. So either you or this person have children, you know, they could have gotten somebody pregnant over here who knows or gotten you pregnant um, and you guys are trying to figure that out um, but also when I get the children card there could be some immaturity going on with one person okay um, also this person that you're asking about could be the one that has children and there's a situation going on with that and that's what is affecting you guys coming together so we're gonna see because it could be anything right now So we're going to get into the Elqui Oracle. All right. These are beautiful cards. Uh, gentlemen, there's women depicted on all of these cards, but that does not mean you can't resonate with the message. Remember, it's about the message, okay, not the gender. All right. And if I say he or she, that's just out of habit, okay? going on Aquarius 
She who begins primavera. Primavera is spring in Spanish, okay? Launch, activate, and potential. Now, I don't remember who got this card. I'm not sure, but this is like um, maybe somebody's trying to either launch a project here and they're asking their friends, you know, how to go about it, what to do. Um, also, this person could be looking at you as someone that has potential, someone that that they see themselves with, but they don't know how to ask you out. So this could be many things right now. Let's see what's going on on this side, and we'll get a little deeper. She who brings light, Blanche, light, serenity, and beacon. Ooh, so Aquarius, you are a beacon of light. Now, I don't know if you know this, but Archangel Uriel is an Aquarius, and Archangel Uriel means the light of God. So, for those of you who meet a lot of Aquariuses, they usually put you on a path of awakening by, <laughs> and sometimes it's not a good thing, okay? Sometimes we, especially if they're a low vibed Aquarius, man, they really do it to you, okay? So, but I see here that you have become a beacon of light. So, you might have gone through an awakening, an enlightenment, and with children here, you could be a beacon of light to children. So your path could be to help children um, have a more broad mindset, right? Expand the consciousness of children. Um, that could be part of your path. Breaking that pattern of being limited and being raised with these very narrow mindsets, okay? So that could be your path here. This is a beautiful energy to have. So this is a high vibe Aquarius over here. Very nice to see. All right, let's get into the Kipper deck to further analyze this situation. So someone could see that you're light, you're high vibe, you're very special kind of person. One more shuffle, my guys. And they're a little perplexed as to how to go about coming to you, okay? So you're definitely high vibe. This might intimidate this person slightly or a bit. But if you're high vibe, that means this person could be on that path as well. Maybe they're just right behind you when it comes to that, okay? So let's see what's going on here. Yeah, we have gift. Ooh. So someone perhaps sees you as a gift or they want to give you something they want to make a nice gesture towards you perhaps 17 could be significant here but this adds up to eight so this could be someone that you will be connected to here in your future you may or may not know who this is so we'll find out and for you guys we have thief here okay 24 could be significant but this adding up to six definitely <laughs> What did I say about uh, low vibes? Um, so you could have dealt with another Aquarius. doesn't have to be. Okay. But whatever you have, I feel like someone's trying to take uh, for some of you. All right. You could be very gifted. Somebody sees that perhaps you're abundant, you're gifted. But there's somebody here that maybe wants to um, sneak into your life. I don't know, you know, because this is over here. Okay. And like I said before, sometimes we're just dealing with an immature person as well. So there could be someone that was very immature in your life that you grew out of. And if you did meet someone that put you on a light path, that, that definitely, because I see that you're on an awakened path. So you could have been very hurt by this person. Okay. Let's see what else is going on here. Let's get into the Island Time Wellness deck. It doesn't mean you're going to take them back. If it comes up, it's just coming up for whatever the reason. Sometimes people don't like talking about their past, but it's, it's, it's your past. It doesn't, it doesn't exist. It doesn't mean you got to take them back. All right. I think spirit just likes to remind you what path you're on and that how blessed you are. 
Okay. So let's see what's going on on this side. Yeah, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. Okay. Yeah, so whoever did you dirty over here with this thief card, which is like the seven of swords, they see you are definitely a gift. Um, but this person has uh, some issues. All right. I feel like they want to begin again with you. Now, for some of you, maybe there will be some transformation with this person. There are butterflies here, but this tells me it ain't going to be right now. This tells me this person is still kind of in this energy. All right, so maybe in the springtime next year, <laughs> something will happen with this person that snaps him out of this energy, but we don't know, okay? For some of for others of you, you have someone that is trying to get out of a connection here with someone that is very just not in a good energy. So just like you possibly met someone that put you in an enlightened path, this person could also be going through that. So a lot of the readings that I've done this month have been speaking about the whole mirror effect and who you are within. So it's like, are you learning your lessons and healing so that you can mirror someone better into your life? Or are we still in this energy of traumas and codependencies and not looking within, not having an inner standing? Because if that's the case, then you're going to attract more of the same so that you can learn your lessons. So I've been getting that energy a lot. So let's see what's going on over here for you guys ascending so beautiful transcending obstacles learning expansion new phase preparing for union so very good so you are on the path that you're going to attract someone that mirrors that beacon of light within you meaning no more immature people in your life um, and this person seems like they're going through the same thing okay for some of you all right I just got like really hot in here. Alright, so we're going to get into the Light Seers deck. Alright, and further clarify this for you. You know, that sometimes spirit brings up the past. It's very important to kind of, you know, look at your process. Even if you already know, there's always people that are on the beginning steps of healing so you know I'm gonna go with what spirit brings up some of you already know what path you're on some of you are just beginning and are looking for a little more clarity a little more insight you know we only look back to see how far we've come all right so let's see All right, yes, someone's healing over here. Beautiful. Okay, so you are connected to someone here, I feel. There's healing. This person, again, could be an Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. So you could be dealing with another Aquarius. Um, but this person could just be healing at this time. They're wishing for higher love. I feel like definitely you guys are going to mirror each other, this healing energy. So this is beautiful okay I love these connections um, seven of swords yeah this person could now for some of you okay because this is this seven this mirroring this card okay so we have the same card on both sides to me okay because um, I'm re I read energy as well not always the meaning of just what the card is so they're on both sides okay so for some of you that are dealing with this past person that stabbed you in the back this is what happened between you guys you both sabotaged the connection because you needed to heal something within okay so you ran away from each other could be you triggered each other you did not want to deal with each other and it's because healing had to take place now again for others of you you dealt with someone like this and now this person is dealing with someone like this someone that lies that cheats that you know is a self-sabotager and ruins 
you know, their relationships that they get into. But it's because this person needed to heal. So there's two people here that have a higher calling, a higher path. And that's why not everybody, unfortunately, heals this lifetime. Sometimes you got to be reincarnated several times in order for you to understand what I'm trying to utter here. Okay? It happens. Not everybody um, heals. And a lot of people don't believe because they're just not on that path. You know? It is what it is. So let's go over here and figure out what else. Yeah, Ace of Cups. There you go. Ace of Cups. So there could be something new here in this person's life, which is you. This is also self-love, self-respect. So either this is this person is either sabotaging the healing, okay, because we do have the Seven of Swords here. Or this is the Seven of Swords in reverse, where this person is actually going to take the time to heal. Alright? There's a breakup here. So, you know, stop the pattern. Okay, there's a pattern here that someone had or still has that they need to look at. And the only way to look at it is within. Okay? So, this would be the kind of energy that if you wish for some a soulmate, okay... With the Seven of Swords here and you're not healing, you're going to get a soulmate, all right, that's going to teach you a lot of lessons, okay? That's when you get a karmic soulmate that puts you on the healing path. And it ain't going to be pretty. It's going to hurt. It's going to create triggers, create pain. and um, But it'll put you on this light path. It ain't easy, trust me. <laughs> an awaken, going on an awakened path is not a piece of cake because you have to get through the darkness to get to the light. You have to walk that dark tunnel. You have to go through the pain. You have to face your inner demons yourself. And a lot of people fear that. Okay. But you're never going to have the one, you know, the, 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 the love of your life that mirrors back that beautiful energy unless you're marrying it to yourself first. And I, I talk about this a lot because it's just the truth. All right. This is self love and respect. The star and the, and the ace of cups is here. It's just a matter of figuring out is this person really doing the work? So let's see. Ace of Wands. Beautiful. Um, who, who was it that just got this? Uh, Capricorn. Oh, that's a must see also. That was a really good reading. And they had this very two cards. Ace of Cups with the Ace of Wands. Love and Passion. So beautiful. So either someone's sabotaging this lovely connection that's written in the stars coming together. Or they are done with, because there's a breakup here, they are done with this cheater, liar, because there's new love coming into their life. And that's what I'm feeling for most of you. So this is good. And I just feel like you guys went through similar situations. And now it's time for real love. But it's always as a, what? As above, so, I mean, excuse me, as above, so below, as within, so without, meaning if you're embodying this self-love and respect, your third eye is open. You're opening your crown chakra, your third eye, to let the ethers, the universe, your spirit guides guide you, you know, within that higher knowledge. Then what you attract as without, it will come to you, okay? So let's go on this side. Six of Wands. This is having that victory, okay? This is also perhaps someone admiring you. We do have gift here. But definitely, you know, this is like crowning. You have a wreath there. I like that energy. And you will have success. Look at this. And we have the devil. The devil with the seven or the thief card, which is like the seven of swords to me. Um, definitely some heavy karma but I feel like you were victorious this adds up to another six all right let's see what else Queen of Cups yeah you were in love with the devil it happens okay look at all this love though you have for yourself now 
because you have self-love and respect you are now a beacon of light we have it there she who brings light okay ba blanche light serenity and beacon and what do we have here ascending transcending obstacles learning expansion new phase preparing for union so you are aligning to the right person now not this little sly devil sly fox you have learned quite a bit so beautiful energy self-love self-respect I mean overflowing this is why ace of cups is coming into your life a mirrored love I love it so let's get one more here two of cups <laughs> I can't make this up a mirrored connection two people that are healed that are a beacon of light and I feel together your path is to help children okay two of cups is soulmate energy right across from the ace of wands this is a beautiful very passionate connection awakened connection uh, ignited flame for some of you twin flame energy just absolutely beautiful the divine is just pouring love you see how we have the crowning and I spoke of crowning you are being crowned for all the work that you've done you 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 have success so this is the devil in reverse you you pretty much you beat the devil the devil within yourself and the devils that you attracted in the past beautiful I love it you broke free of some karmic chains of perhaps personal addictions codependencies whatever it was tying you down and keeping you chained you broke free you're being crowned beautiful oh these readings so inspiring I love it I love that I like seeing people grow and heal and transform their damn life it's what the world needs all right let's get into the Arcanum Tarot to further clarify this Aquarius and remember people that talk crap about eh, yeah I don't believe in this and that and obviously there are people that don't believe in healing I guess or believe that life can be a lot better self mastery is a thing but you got to be open minded open to it all right let's talk about the star eight of swords uh oh now somebody could be in that cocoon state and we do over definitely we overthink when we're in that cocoon state okay and again somebody could have fears Someone has fear of fireworks here. You don't like that sound. Hey, I know people that have phobias of, of fireworks. Um, let's talk. Sorry, that was a random message. <laughs> Maybe you're relating to the the reading. That that's why I say those messages. Let's talk about the seven of swords, seven of pentacles. Okay, someone here because I keep seeing there's a gift here that's coming to somebody here. Okay, and it could be to you, the viewer. And someone wants to steal your crops what you've worked so hard to perfect okay so I feel like you're working on your coin as well and somebody wants to take you see how you have an empty basket here um, also somebody here if you're planting in your garden there's somebody stealing your fruit could be an animal but um, there could be somebody trying to take what you're putting out there so watch that but somebody's trying to steal whatever it is that you have going on remember I said energies jump okay now there could be the person in this person's life because again like I said I feel like you both went through those types of people that they're takers not givers meaning they're not empathic so I feel like and they've been with this person for a while alright but again if we have somebody that's not doing the healing 
they're self-sabotaging and they've been sabotaging for a while so let's talk about the ace of cups <laughs> I can't make this shit up the king of swords Aquarius energy but it could also be Libra or Gemini ace of cups um, so somebody here okay again you could be dealing with another Aquarius or Libra or Gemini has love for you for those who are resonating with this sly fox from the past they did fall for you okay but they keep sabotaging it over and over because they're not healing so this person is this is done that's why the breakup separation in here stop the pattern but they keep going like the hamster wheel with let your friends help you though this person is still trying to you know wiggle his way back into your life this person something in spring so next year in springtime you know just watch out for this person I don't know if they're gonna be healed by spring we'll see but they have love for you now for those where there's a new person coming into your life it could be a high vibe Aquarius a new love someone that has been going through their um, you know their awakening okay and they will have a lot of love for you and they will tell you exactly how they feel with the king of swords and the ace of cups regardless of their sign this is someone that's going to be straightforward with you no no side of bullshit okay so let's go to the ace of wands Ooh. <laughs> okay now what I'm seeing here because it's across from the two of cups you you see how sometimes we meet two people right two people sometimes two people meet that's why I say be careful what you wish for when you're low vibe you the divine says okay you want a soulmate because this is soulmate energy I'll bring you a soulmate and it's usually comes in the form of insane chemistry and passion and triggers because there's karma between you guys okay so whoever's resonating with this past person because they're they're coming in strong here you guys had incredible chemistry and and the bond is there the love is there okay because you knew this person in another lifetime but you guys didn't clear your karma last lifetime so you're doing that this lifetime I, at least you guys are okay because I can see the enlightenment here the beacon of light but this person mm -mm. <laughs> and you know what just popped up scam so be careful with this energy not all soulmates are good people sometimes they're just meant to be in our life so that we can grow and transform our life and then we can like I said um, magnetically pull in someone that matches our healed inner self so be careful you're definitely gonna have someone from your past come back and they still want to sleep with you because they didn't forget about this love or this passion they have for you and they sabotaged it because this connection was ridiculous ridiculously uh, intense with this chemistry and passion and love he will it smacked him right across the head he was not ready he or she they weren't ready for it they weren't healed and if this person is not empathic ugh, we don't know they may or may not be but with this energy they have a lot to learn let me tell you but you learned a lot as well don't get me wrong all right now let's go over here and see what else we got for you guys six of wands six of cups mm -hmm. again this is the past life connection two of cups but this is someone from your past Um, it's next to the six of wands all right so what I'm getting in like I said this person wants to come back around they want this victory for some of you this person is still not healing and they want to steal something from you a gift they see maybe the gift is you like your box 
they want to sleep with you because they didn't and they feel this connection heavily but they want to get to you without the healing without putting in the work so that's not good mm. let's talk about the devil three of cups yeah celebrating this is you know perhaps in the past you, you used to like to drink or celebrate you know um, a lot of party nights I feel here but also preparing for union here someone wants to come into your life seven of swords seven of pentacles with the three of cups and the devil it's like come on back to the wild side honey take my hand uh-uh <laughs> that's like you know I have candy <laughs> no <laughs> say no to strangers <laughs> Because this person has become a stranger. Okay? Be careful. This is a very sly fox. They're going to tell you they love you. Oh, they, are they, I love you, yes. Because they want sex. Be careful. Okay? There was a lot of love here. Even if they didn't tell you, there was a lot of love here. Alright, let's talk about the Queen of Cups. Which is your energy right now. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. Definitely... Wow, you're, you're going to be gifted with some things. And you are gifted. You could use your gifts to create that legacy you want. But with the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups with this... I feel like this is another air sign. Or it doesn't have to be, but someone that's going to speak up. Somebody wants to talk to you. They see you as a gift. They want a relationship with you. I just feel there's two people here. Okay, if it's the same person wanting you back from the past, they're not good, not with this energy. Okay, for some of you, there's a new person though that they're going to tell you how they feel. They see you as someone they can build with and create a legacy with and perhaps heal children with, have children with. Okay, let's go to this Two of Cups. Ten of Cups, nice. Oh, this is nice. So, yes, you are preparing for a union here. But there will be someone in your past trying to steal you away from this new connection. Because they still have feelings. They still, or at least they still want to, you know, take it to the bedroom. Now, for this new connection that's coming into your life, okay? I just feel you guys are going to be obsessed with each other because I was getting this too before because there's so much passion you thought you had chemistry with this past person this is like that times the love mirrored back so beautiful so don't don't feel bad because you met someone that you fell in love with but they hurt you and stabbed you in your back and you feel like you'll never find that type of connection again because you will but it's mirrored with love not just the passion this is not someone that's going to sabotage it or escape from you okay you guys are going to be obsessed with each other I feel here with this energy so this is beautiful so somebody's going to man up or woman up to tell you how they feel here all right which leads to a relationship that you're really going to love a very abundant connection as well I love it because you're on a different path you you're transcending obstacles and someone here doesn't want to see you happy okay could have been someone you haven't even seen in years all of a sudden they're gonna come out of the blue when you're in this new relationship Look at that, the sun. Boom. Awakened path, enlightened path. Returning back to innocence. Before all the shit happened to you. Okay? Getting back to your core, your soul, your inner child. Look at that. Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> I mean, hello. Somebody's going to tell you how they feel. It comes out of the blue. This is enlightened, awakened love. Ace of Swords with the Sun. 
Ace of Cups with the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles, with the Ace of Wands, with the Ten of Cups, with the Two of Cups. I mean, damn Aquarius. All, all major arcanas here a lot. I mean, it is, you, you can't make this shit up. You have all aces. You have the Ace of Wands. You have the Two of Cups. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. You have the King and Queen of Cups. You have the Ace of Swords. I mean, damn. You have the Sun and the Ten of Cups. You, you, you can't get a better reading than this. And I thought Capricorn's reading was out of this world. This, this is ridiculous. This is beautiful. I mean, wow. Love it. Amazing. See what happens when you heal? I'm telling you. People don't want to believe. <laughs> you best believe. There is a beautiful love waiting for you. So forget about this sly fox that keeps wanting to come back in and steal. They want to come steal what they think is theirs. That's what's going on here with the Seven of Swords. I mean, Seven of Cups and the Seven of Swords, yeah. I mean, Seven of Pentacles and Seven of Swords. Somebody wants to steal something they think is his. But you are going to be blessed with this beautiful person. So don't let him try to get you back into the wild side. This is toxic behavior right here. Forget this person. Okay? You're, you're done with the devil. You're done with that. Beautiful. Alright, let's get into the Divine Masculine. Truth be told, the closer I get to you. This could resonate for both male or female. Okay, the messages. What a reading. Wow. Readings have been quite good today. Even through the sly foxes. The wolf in sheep's clothing. Let's get one. Well, no. That, that's fair. Alright. So let's talk about this star and the eight of swords. Encounter. Mm. Okay. So there's somebody here. Written in the stars. Star cross lovers with the six of cups and the star. That wants an encounter. Or you want an encounter with. You want victory with. They want an encounter with you. But they have fear. Okay. Let's talk about the seven of swords with the seven of pentacles. Which is about timing. Divine love. In your arms is where I belong. Secret treasures. Hmm. Somebody here could want to sneak away to see you. But I don't like that the devil, the three of cups, and the seven of pentacles is here. So this could be that. Okay, I see what's going on. Yeah, that past person is going to try to come in between you guys. I just, that's what I see. Okay, let's talk about the ace of cups. It's going to be a wet ride. <laughs> I'm ready to explore every inch of you. And a wet ride with the Ace of Cups, just overflow it. Look at that embrace between both of you. Beautiful. It just means you're going to be showered with love with this person. This new love. Wow. They want this encounter with you. Let's talk about the Ace of Wands. Yeah, you are in my thoughts. And when the time comes, it's all yours. Yeah, this person is being naughty, naughty. Mm -hmm. This is usually you know, the Ace of Wands. Someone could be, you know, thinking of you and self-pleasuring here. But they're telling you when the time comes, not only that is yours, but so is their love. That's just so beautiful. 
Beautiful. So you are preparing for union with a past life connection, divine love. That's what it says here. You're sending, you're, you, you transcending obstacles here. You've grown and you deserve to be loved as much as you love yourself now. Beautiful. All right, let's go over here, Aquarius. Six of Wands. I've spoken to my mother about you. I'm coming. Mm -hmm. So he could be talking to his mom about soulmate connections, okay, past life connections, and telling them that, you know, you see victory with this person. You want to have victory. That, you know, you, you could be talking about that um, or this person, okay? Let's talk about the devil here. Travel plans. Definitely there's three people here, okay, with this three of cups. I just feel like you're going to be pulled in two directions. This sly fox is trying to pull you away from... I'm wondering if this person is getting tarot readings done because it's like they're watching your every move almost. And like as soon as you get with someone else, they're like going to try to take you away from this person. This is what I'm feeling. Like you're going to be pulled in two directions. But you know, I don't think you're going to fall for it. You're, you're awakened now. But they're going to try to play with the whole chemistry sexual thing. So be careful with that. That's going to be a major test for you. Remember that you're going to have that chemistry plus love with this new person. Remember that. I know it's hard when you have such chemistry with someone, but they're no good okay um, Queen of Cups are you ready for our first real date Ooh. yes so like I said someone's gonna tell you how they feel they want to ask you out they see you as the one but they're gonna ask you out first they want to talk to you they want to see what you're all about all right gentlemen if you're watching and you're on this side and you want to ask this beautiful person out or ladies, even if you're trying to ask someone out. I mean, this is the person. Okay. So let's see what else with the Two of Cups and Ten of Cups. Oh, the karmic's worst nightmare is coming true. Jealousy. See what the, she's looking at, she or he. Mm -hmm. And I do feel like both of you have karmics behind you or karmic soulmate energies that are trying to pull you guys apart okay I see this here as well but there is no pulling this apart this is matched this is synchronized energy synchronized love synchronized passion alright somebody's gonna try to steal you guys they know you go, you're both a gift to each other but they want the gift, but they don't want to do the work. <laughs> it, that doesn't work that way. That's funny. Nope. Spirit's like, nope. It doesn't work that way. Let's get a few more messages, Aquarius, and let's move on. All right. Also, they, like I said, there could be someone in their life trying to pull them away from being with you with this karmic card. They're trying to sabotage um, what you guys have or will have. Let's see what's going on over here. We are meant for each other. Mm -hmm. One more. I miss you. Mm -hmm. That's the person in the past. And your energy, you make me whole. Also, this mirrors this, beacon of light. So definitely somebody sees you as a gift. And I remember everything. Yeah, you already know. You remember exactly what you went through. Okay? You know you're a beacon of light now. You know what you deserve. You're high vibe now. Let's get a few messages from Spirit, Aquarius. 
and then we'll leave it there. One more shuffle. I'm getting that song here once, twice, three times a lady. Mm. Think this is healing? Yep. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. So definitely, being that you guys have a soul tie here, just picture you and your beloved feeling surrounded by light. Send them that light energy because you do have, I mean, you're you're enlightened, you're a beacon of light. And I, I feel like whoever's coming towards you is still healing. So send them that light. You know, they could be dealing with that karmic. They don't want to deal with them anymore, okay? They're all perhaps about partying and all of that. So send them your healing energy, basically, because you guys are connected, all right? Oh, look at this card. Beautiful. Embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I love it. And one more. Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. Yes. You see how you don't have to be perfect to be with the love of your life but you do have to be on that healing path and make the effort for yourself so you have that self-love and self-respect and just allow yourself to be playful to feel this energy to explore this energy to just enjoy it you know like the sun card that came out on the bottom of the deck returning to innocence and just uh, letting go of all this heavy karmics and and just, oh, you had enough of that heaviness, both of you. So when you come together, it's like you guys are just going to be very healing for one another to continue on that healing path because you're already on that path. So this is beautiful. All right, Aquarius. Oh, no, one more card because I forgot. Let's get the one true love messages. Let's seal the deal here. I know somebody wants to seal the deal. <laughs> One more, okay. I'm here. You are the sunshine of my life. That's why I'll always be around. You are the apple of my eye, my friend. Every day I'm amazed by you and this experience. Oh, somebody is watching. Oh, I love it. Beautiful. All right, Aquarius, that's what I got for you guys. Let me know in the comments if you resonated. And, uh, of course, not everyone will. But I will see you guys again for your two-week forecast around the middle of August. And have a good one. Love you guys. Bye-bye.